Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. What up? Let's go! Hello? Uh, this is too pensive. Go back to the start. Bing, 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 bing. I hate pensive music. What's going on? You love penis music? Well, penis music is a different genre altogether. That's its own thing. We mine and then mine and then mine and horse. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Whoa, cats be going crazy. I'm drinking a very bad beer. But I think it's bad because it's such high ABV. It's a double Pilsner, which I've never even heard of. I didn't know you could double a Pilsner. I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think we had the technology. I'm not I'm not gonna guzzle this, I'm gonna sip this. Okay. Quad pilsners, you're out of your fucking mind. Oh god, I hope my cats don't start tearing up the apartment while I stream. Hey. Hey! Warning! Warning! Don't do that! Oh no. 
I um Did you guys watch the influencer fight? Did you guys watch Logan Paul fight? I watched part of that. That shit was ass. Yeah, he won. He fucking won. And it wasn't even impressive. You put me in there? I'm getting my ass kicked. But... No, there's really no point to that. Uncle Jim, think of that 66 months. Simple Tan, think of that 80 months. Thanks for the support. YouTube boxing is, uh, <laughs> not great. I was reminded of that watching the fight. It's not as good as normal boxing, and normal boxing isn't as good as, uh, basketball. I would fucking send... I would actually... I think I wouldn't fight Henry because I'd, I'd be afraid if I hit him in the head. That's the... the that's it. It's over. Like how? <laughs> There's not much rattling around in there right now. I I have a joke I can't say. I'd overload train and show them that it's for babies. Don't try and egg me on with this, okay? It's been a ceasefire. Should we play some Kenshi? There's no point talking here when I can just mine and talk. Mine and then mine and then mine and horse. Okay. Launch the game. The decrepit destroyer, the Waltham Whale. No, I have not tried the new M Dickey game. It looks good though. It looks quality. Yeah, get everybody get on your PC, start mining. Mine some crypto. Is crypto over? Is it done for? You're over. Suspicious user monitoring. I've been over, dude. I've been so over that I'm fucking under now. Ban him? He's already being monitored. <laughs> Automod has their eye on him. Mod him? No. I'm good. I always have to scroll down. NFTs are over. Having all, like, NFTs just... Sank 99%. What a concept, man. Back to John Bond, blow me. Here we go. And we're mining. We're mining again, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. How about the apes? Did the apes, the bored apes, did those survive the crash? No. Shit. If, if they took the apes... And um, nothing, nothing's gonna survive. I remember Trainrex bought an ape. I saw a tweet of his where he's like, "I just heard about the latest craze, so I bought one, and it was the ugliest one I've ever seen. It had like rainbow teeth." Damn, dude. Jimmy Fallon sold his ape.
Tim and Eric were going to do an FTR. I remember that. And then they shit on him and he backed off. Don't talk shit about NFTs is all I'm saying. I'm still heavily uh, leveraged in this business. I remember watching Trainwreck stream. I was watching him stream slots about a year and a half ago. <laughs> and Andy Milanakis was on his stream just talking about NF getting into NFTs and how he was doing all this expert research and shit. He probably lost like... <laughs> So much money since then. <laughs> He's probably lost, like... And he was, like, sh getting mad at chat because they were making fun of him. Oh, man. Oh, he made his own NFT? I used to love the Andy Milanakis show, though. When I was a kid. For real. Thought that shit was fucking hilarious. Am I not mining this? No. And we mine and then mine and then mine and or was, was he the man show boy? I actually don't know. You smoked weed with him? I'm sorry. Tiger Carnival, thank you for that six months. Thanks for I've the been support. retaining. I've been on that. I apologize. I don't know. It just sounds like it sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. Motherfucker probably never mind any copper in his life. What is Dracula flow? I'm not up on this new, uh, the hip stuff. Dracula flow. Do you like flow from, do you think flow from progressive is hot? Who doesn't? The AT&T girl is the, the dime piece, dude. She's a cunt IRL. Did you smoke weed with her? I need to eat. John Bon Blow Me needs to feast. All right, let's just go eat. Women are people. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of Tate lately, and I might have to disagree with you. Dude, beak things are scary. Andrew Tit. Has anyone made that joke yet? That's pretty fucking good. That might just stand the test of time right there. I clap for every woman I see for their bravery. All I'm trying to see is a woman clap, if you know what I'm saying. And I ain't talking about with the hands. Am I right, guys? Talk about them cheeks! Everybody relax. If you don't agree with me, relax. If you agree with me, I can still retain and have such views. <laughs> the bricked up king is back. They never called me that. You, can, you can't fool me. They call me the Louis Vuitton Don, though.
Real retainers don't even acknowledge. Um, what's it called? No, not November. It's just not even a concern. All right, I think we've mined enough. I think it's time to start really going for it. We got to start strength training. Fuck, that actually means we have to mine a little more. Let's get King a backpack. You hope bugs chasing us? Kind of fucked up. I'm kind of hurt. No, no, we need to send Kang here. October is a spillers month, yay. A real retainer can get so scared, speaking of October and spooky times. The only time a real retainer spills is when he gets, like, scared. Just someone jump scares him and he busts a nut. Sorry, it took me a while to get there, but... Can you... Yeah, if you retain for long enough, anything can be the catalyst. Need your face changed? Tell me, brother. Sure do. Where the fuck is the merchant? Is he sleeping? I think that's him. No, that's the fucking surgeon again. I'm so stupid. There he is. Chris Bors is just trying to get off. Well, in some ways he is. All right, let's get uh, even a small thieves backpack should be fine. That's fine. Let's just get our. Uh, no, we don't need to practice any of this actually. All right, what we need to do is fill our backpacks with iron and find someone's body, find two bodies, and run from town to town. But for now, let's get that iron going. Eat. When are you starting up daily vlogs? Soon, soon. I'm going to become a J-vlogger. I'm moving back to Japan for this purpose. I like how I leave my iron, fa my uh, mining phase, and I immediately get back into it. Just because that's part of, that's step one of the next step. Stream with Ice Poseidon, you guys would get along. Yeah, I love that guy. Surprisingly down to earth. I should get a third recruit, yeah. 13k, that's enough to do it. Ice Poseidon. He's a good guy. He just did one crypto crypto pump and dump. I was planning. I'm planning. On, I'm gearing up for a pump and dump right now. I'm not supposed to say that out loud. Fuck. No, not that kind of pump and dump. Retain coin. That's sick. Both these guys hungry AF, but we gotta get them their iron first, and then we'll feed them. So what we're doing right now okay is we're gonna load our backpacks up with iron and then run from place to place to get our strength up and then if we can have if we happen to find a corpse we'll lift that up too and run with that no these this isn't slave labor they're both free 
They're doing this. This is the training montage. The last Chris Boar's ghost behaviors video is crazy. The house cleansing sequence. That was like a training montage. Carry Kang, but then Kang won't gain strength. Should get into fights and loot your, en loot your enemies. First, we gotta get our strength up. His dumper shot? He had multiple, dude. He was showing it off. Get into YouTube boxing? I might. This beer sucks. <laughs> No, the paper, paper is just fucking, like, it was a paper that was just jammed in between, like, two dressers. Of course it's going to fall down when you're moving around near it. I just don't buy the premise. I, this is neither here nor there. A lot of people probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. Not a hater. Vanilla or modded? Vanilla. Wait, is TwitchCon going on right now? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm going to have to pay these guys. Here, it's 300 cats. Fuck off. Let me mine. Stop pushing me. It's next weekend. I'm not even going to lie. I would enjoy. I would enjoy going. Get to drink for free. I'm fighting I dubs at Creator Clash 3. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves mining. All right, let's just get some food. Am I going to play the new City Skylines? Um. Maybe when it's on sale. Shoot cat? No. They have to come to me. I'd only go if like I knew friends were there. And I don't even have friends, so what the fuck? There's no chance I'm going. Hippo sad indeed. Um, okay. Let's see. Strength. XP rate is 5%. That's not good. Alright, we need more weight on Kang quickly. Hit the iron. Wait, no, it's because he's not moving, right? No. Alright, get more iron. Now. Do it. Do it. I'm proud of Mr. Beast. I'm happy for him. He's really doing it. Sick of these haters denying him. I need to be more weary of my surroundings. What are these dust bandits? Good to see another white man succeed. It's so rare these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's just nice to see the whites get one for once. <laughs> what culture will ruin Mr. Beast? Didn't wasn't there someone in his crew that like is like kind of gender fluid and they like shit on them for that. Isn't that a thing? Isn't woke culture already permeating? He defended his NB friend. That's good. That's good. Okay. 
Good shit. Good shit. Good shit, beast. Good shit, MB. Do you think he'd defend me if I was his friend? I think that's enough iron. John Bond Blow Me just outpaces Kang so much. Actually, no, I need a little more weight on John Bond Blow Me. It's just mining. It's not even Kenji, really. It's just Minecraft. Mr. Breast is what I want to see. You're waiting for him to go topless. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm drinking a very bad beer, though, which is affecting my mood. I feel... I'm going to be honest with you guys. Mental health check. I feel kind of anxious right now. Just suddenly. I just just overcame me. It's the Mr. Beast talk for sure. Whew, I just gotta breathe. I think retention is causing anxiety. The science points towards it. Can she is stressful? It should be relaxing me. You gotta eat more kimchi? Fuck, I was just at the grocery store. I actually should have got kimchi. Someone recommended a brand to me that I don't remember the name of. I was at Safeway, though. They probably didn't have it. Retention cures mental illness. Is that true? Fact checkers. I got a a uh, a beer I know is good. Maybe that was what was calling causing me tension. The bad beer, but I got one that I know to be good. Ah! No, you can't retain pee. That doesn't have any life force. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can find ourselves some bodies. Oh my God, Ellie. Relax. Bad beer syndrome. I got BBS. All right, what's our strength gain? 25% not bad, but we need a body on our back. 22% on Kang. That's fine. P does not come from the balls. This is a common misconception in our community. Beer does give negative vibes for a lot of people. Not me. Lolan Rafflecopter, thank you for that 66 months. I appreciate that. Alcohol makes... Uh, I wouldn't say it solves issues. I'd say it creates more issues than it solves. However, that shit fun. All right, we have to venture until we find some bodies. All right, that's fine. Wait, aren't they supposed to run at the same pace when I have that button on? Whatever, just run separate. Doesn't matter. All your cigarettes are stale? You smoke cigarettes? Gross. Gross. Don't do that. 
I haven't done that in two months. Yesterday, I was like, damn, I wish I could smoke a cigarette, man. That'd be so sick. That'd be fucking pog. Oh, that's so much better. You've been missing beer? Me too. And I haven't had a sip in 15 seconds. We gotta get John Bon Blow Me a heavy weapon. Right now all he has is this blunt weapon. Now I... my diet is really bad. Um, thank God I'm not smoking anymore. Uh, but I was living a very unhealthy lifestyle. My other guy has one, but I want him to be heavy weapons too, actually. No, he has a saber. He's got a sabre. Damn, I didn't realize he already had so many fucking... He's, he's already cracked. No wonder his strength is... Okay, we need to do this then. We need to switch bags. Is this like Second Life? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Ah, uh, Kang. You take big backpack, okay? Alright, uh, you drop that. You drop that. You take that. You take that. Nice. Now. Now it's perfect. Now look, they're like same pace. They're like power walking. That's so sick. This is quite a scene. Look at that. You love to see it. There's a lot of monitoring today, but I wouldn't say that it is without reason. I don't know how the system knows. I just don't know. I will buy the cheapest heavy weapon for John. I actually don't know where the name Kenshi comes from. Hey! Thanks for the support. Morgoon. Thank you. I was watching a video about Jada Pinkett Smith going on a media tour shitting on Will Smith. She was kind of fucking crazy. She seems terrible. I don't know. Misogynist? Yeah, it's mostly because. No, I was going to make a joke. I'm not going to make a joke. I'm not going to give you what you want, okay? Okay. You're not gonna win this one, guy. Just give me the cheapest one and have this. <laughs> My wife's dick out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> that poor guy, though. It's sad. It's really just sad. He's like, I don't know, but you can be in a relationship like that and just be like, lose your agency, lose yourself in it. I think he cheated on his first wife with her. You see, it's born on faulty ground. This has become like a celebrity gossip stream. That's, that's my, that's what I'm known for these days. The toxic gossip train. 
All aboard! Riding down the tracks of misinformation. Let's talk about Ice Spice. I don't know. I would fuck Ice Spice. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. What else am I supposed to talk about? Thanks for the support. Hey, Prof Problem, thank you for that 110 months. She's too young for you? How old is she? It wouldn't be that if I... She's... No. It's, fuck off. 25? 25 is not too young for me. 23 isn't even too young for me. Grow up. How young is too young for me? If you can't drink alcohol, I that's out of the question. Okay. <laughs> I'm not Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm not like old as shit. How old is too old for me? I don't there's I don't know. There's a more definitive cutoff, obviously, for younger than older. I need to find why why am I around why am I around nobody who's been KO'd in this town? Normally there's scraps left and right. But now I'm just power walking with my boy left and right talking about how who I want to fuck in this world. <laughs> it's not good. While my cat plays with a paper bag in the background. Dating people even five years junior is like a different universe. You see, I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree. Maybe it's because I'm emotionally immature. Maybe it's because I'm riding down the tracks of misinformation. I am an empath. I can relate to people. Regardless, no, I don't want to. I can relate to people who are 25 and above. Jerry Seinfeld, Seinfeld, Seinfeld did date a 17 year old. This is true. So many jokes running through my mind that I can't fucking say because the woke mob will come for me. What's the deal with 17 year olds? Wait, oh, ew, oh, that can't be true. Bill, Bill, uh, how do you pronounce his last name? I, I, Bill Maher? I should know this because I hate him and I've seen a million pieces of his content. Maher. Bill Maher. Worst person. Shitty guy. And the fact of his wretched, shriveled, <laughs> never mind. We don't need to go into detail. But that strikes fear into my heart. The fact that a youth would have to be party to such a sight. That's a PGD moment. Stop! Stop playing! Stop enjoying life! I'm going to lock him up. Interesting stream. I, this is a chat driven. The topics have been chat driven. Will you stop playing with plastic paper bags? While I run from place to place looking for just a shred of a body to carry. A Linity moment? I didn't even throw nothing.
I've been watching the worst YouTube content lately. I watched an hour of a two hour video on Team 10, Jake Paul's old YouTube conglomerate. And then I, I, I got it halfway through and I was like, what the fuck am I? I am going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose all purpose in life if I watch another minute of this video. And then I watched a video on the streamer Zombie Unicorn. That one was pretty entertaining. I skipped a lot through it just because a lot of it was super cringy. Uh, but that was entertaining, actually. I forgot who did that. Was it called The Dark Side of Team 10? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hey, Mott Elegy. Thanks Thank you for support. that sub. How do you win in this game? It's not a game you win, I'd say. Isn't she the she's the bully hunters woman, yeah. The ultimate snitch. The type the type of woman who just like you do one micro aggression towards her and she tries to get you fired from your job. Worst kind of person. Woke mob. The ultimate. She's such a snitch. I bet Harry Potter would be hankering to grab her on sight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Now that's fucking comedy. Such a snitch. Wouldn't be surprised if she was a little bit painted golden. It's terrible. That one didn't even make sense. Yeah, can I get a Prime sub real quick? Looked at my sub numbers. I actually didn't. I don't look at any numbers. But I'm sure they're not great. <laughs> oh my god. Stop running. I need money. Oh my god, Russ! Thanks for the 10 gifted subs! Thanks for the support. We're back, baby! We're back! Oh shit, Kang is like... He's got malnutrition. I appreciate you, dog. Thanks for the support. Let's go. Can it beat Ninja on subs? Is Ninja still stream? I feel like Ninja's just set. Thanks for the support. Don't care. Don't care anymore. Yeah, eat that. Take that. Take that. John Bond, you go get yourself a bowl of rice too on me. On Rust. May I touch on the big Twitch guys? I don't. Thanks for the support. I don't actually know who the biggest Twitch streamer is these days. Is it Hassan Piker? Thanks for the support. Wait, XQC, isn't XQC on kick though? Thanks for the support. It's on both? <laughs> Yo, kick fucking sucks. <laughs> it's the worst site. Thanks for the support. I follow Twitch streamers with the biggest tits, but not the biggest Twitch streamers. That makes sense. Thanks for the support. Let me tell you guys a story. No, I can't tell that story. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I always do this. Thanks for the support. The TLDR is... I, uh, in the past, I've been on the, the X website and I've like, see a pretty girl and I'm like, all right, I'll follow her. And then, and then, <laughs> no, not the X site, Twitter. Um, who's Christy plays Christy plays. 
But you ever, like, follow somebody and then immediately regret it, but you can't immediately unfollow because they followed you back? This has happened to me. It's like you're committed. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. King, king, king. Are these hungry bandits? They're starving. Oh, fuck. King's fucked up. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. It's Tazon Day. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Everybody chill, 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 chill. We can, we can beat him. Oh, he, look, he's going. He's popping off. Look at John Bomb blow me. Come in. All right, I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked. I might have to save Scum. Because this motherfucker is not holding his own. This MF is not cracked. Oh, King's back up. Bandage yourself, King. Bandage. He did not bandage. All right, we're good. It's okay. You have to do this for endurance purposes. If they get up, actually, they might both be dead. Um, we will see. Yeah, he's in a recovery cove. I think they're both dead. All right, uh, reload. That's okay. It's all good. They were fine. What was I going to say? I was talking... Yeah. I don't remember. Wait. Didn't I... Did I quick save late? Whatever, we'll see. Hopefully they get out. Thoughts on Sniper Wolf? I, I know nothing about it. I don't know nothing. My thoughts are with John Bond Blow Me right now. The goat. Come back to life. Before Kang dies, please. I don't think this is going to work. Wait, chest is going up? But what about the down arrow? As long as he gets up before King dies. Whatever. This is a bonding moment for our boys. Damn. I have a funny story, but I can't go into detail, so there's no point in even telling it. When do you become a drama react streamer? I pretty much am already. I'm just a beer streamer. This is where I come to drink my beers. How do you have so many stories? I really don't have like many stories for a human being. That chest is going up so slowly. Cruise ship story? I've been on a cruise ship.
That's my story. These guys will be okay. Okay? I believe it. They're going to be all right. They both have all their blood, have you noticed? As long as all your blood is in your body, you're good. <laughs> Unless your blood is turned against you. Wait, Kang ate? What a fucking faker. <laughs> He's just a fraud. He's not in a coma. No one just wakes up for their coma for a midnight snack. Yeah, this is going to take like an hour. So feel free to leave. I don't, I don't mind. I'm cool. Yeah, have a crack open a beer. I'm having a pineapple IPA right now. It's great. We need to get more people in our crew because there's no reason not to have more people in our crew. Oh, fuck. All right, they're cool. Look at their formation. It's crazy. Whoa. Okay, this might actually be a lost cause because the chest has gone up once in like... 15 minutes. I honestly wouldn't ma uh, mind if a slaver picked us up right now. It would not bother me, but this area does not have a lot of slavers in my experience. Anything is better than this. Oh, chest went down. I think we're fucked. <sighs> Shit! I want to play a different game, though. Sorry. Sorry to my Kenshi heads. Sorry, Kenshi boys. Bye, Kenshi. Miners coping. It's true. But what should I play? The, the second, the second I stop mining, I get fucked. I'm banned from COD Mobile. Still, I don't know. I obviously haven't checked, you know. You know how it is. You know how it is. Kenshi is an unforgiving mistress. Alright, what was... Hold on, I'm hacking into the mainframe. Main, mainframe. Um... What the fuck was my password? Yeah, early game is brutal. You really have to suck it up and hold on. Like a Dragon is actually... I had a lot of fun with that game. I didn't beat it. How many hours did that log, though? That's the question. Played about 65 hours of Like a Dragon. That's a dub. I just liked the... I really liked the capitalist minigame of Like a Dragon. The Cracker Store. Which is how you could describe this chat, frankly. But... It's neither here nor there. <laughs> he 
Except you guys aren't for sale, so that doesn't make much sense. Sorry, I'm 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 looking, okay. I'm looking into what would be best for all of us. Sorry. Oh, I've played Hard Time. There's video evidence of that. One of my first streams ever was Hard Time. Tori stream. No, 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 no. He's scam. He's scam. I will stream his new game at some point, just not now. Not now, okay. Man, I am stumped. Jake Thinney, thank you for that 11 months. Thank Currently on an 11-month streak. It's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, spooky game? I don't like the horror genre. Across the board, I'm out. Don't boo. That's fucking scary as shit. I'm telling you, I'm going through my games list right now. Don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. No one worry. I think they shut down the servers of the WWE game I had. I think I think it's over. I think it's dead. T had the Kenshi Rimworld. Oh, Rimworld. Let me get backseated so hard. I get scared of Kenshi even backseating wise cuz like people come in that I've never even seen before. Further Saturn, what up? Oh! My keyboard's not working. My Steam froze. Everything's fucked. It's my favorite Instagram model. I don't know. I don't know. What Suica game? Wait, do I want to play this? Fuck, man. It's such a hard choice. Why don't I just react? <laughs> Why don't I just react, dude? It's so much easier. Pirates and Ghost Doctor. There's not enough. I've watched all the Ghost Doctor. Now that I open, like my algorithm is fucked right now. There's fucking nothing. Body cam footage. Let's watch. Um, what's the? Uh, watch this guy sometimes. Hey, Geometric so Jeff, thank you for gifting that Teachers sub. Teachers are supposed to be good people who guide our children and teach them valuable lessons. So but true. what happens when these teachers are actually evil? Here oh, are five shit. cases when evil teachers realize they've been caught. And the next step is basically you, you do go to jail okay. tonight. Um, I submit some paperwork. I'm little. They're going to tear me apart. 
Starting with 27-year-old oh, <laughs> Brittany Zamora, a sixth grade teacher who, in March 2018, was interrogated after the parents of a 13-year-old boy notified the school of a series of not-so-good messages they had found on the boy's phone and accused her of having done the unthinkable. What? Later, in an interrogation room, an investigator begins to question her. And where were you before that? Little Elementary School. She's a pedophile. How long were you there? Um, from July 2013 to May 2017. We're gonna watch crime videos. I'm sorry. We gotta go and there. What is your What's your position right now? Sixth grade teacher. Sixth grade teacher. Okay, and, and what did you do there? Are you from Arizona or did you? I moved here when I was 10. Okay. Where was that from? Michigan. Well, if you're from Michigan, then what football team were you? Shut the for? fuck up. I'm not watching this. <laughs> I don't know what a terrible question. The tone was all off. Man, fuck that. Is this what you guys are talking about 52 minutes ago? Last night, it's the new jo uh, drama. A massive YouTuber showed up outside of our home, recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers, goading me with the line, let's talk like adults. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. In this exact moment, she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics. Uh, to everyone that's reached out to us, thank you. We're fine. We're just a little shaken up. You guys don't want to know Maybe my real take on this because you guys, you, you guys probably like this guy. Safe in our own home because we're dealing with someone who genuinely thinks they're in the right for A, stalking me, and B, posting our home to her massive audience. What a disgusting abuse of clout that is. This is irresponsible at best and flat out dangerous at worst. YouTube needs to step in and take I'm action. I'm gonna deep platform. If this goes unpunished, then it sets a terrifying precedent saying. that you can dox and stalk. Doxing the is bad, this so is long true. As you have a big YouTube audience. If I listen, I actually, I changed my mind. Me, you're right. Could have done it's fine. So through many other means, but there's one. Thing I was never a TikTok reactor. Do. I don't know why I'm watching this. I'm on a total death spiral right now on this stream, and I need I need help. Who's on my shit list? Uh, Ninja. Listen, it's that. Um, it's that overriding sense of anxiety I mentioned earlier. I'm sorry. Do I want to play a game or watch a video? I don't even fucking know. I play. I paid Fiverr game developers to make the same game. That sounds interesting. Go pet your cats. Backyard baseball. House flipping the concept the very concept scares me. You guys don't understand how scared I am right now. Everything is falling apart. I didn't watch Ken Domic on Maine for so long because I was scared. But I'm not scared anymore. We're gonna watch this dumb Canadian fuck right now. One day ago. Oh, there's the KFC. They open Sorry, the so loud. and they do have nuggets. What? My I'm goodness. fucking pissed. Be awesome. We're and watching. Kevin from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back 
to another Kendamic Foodie adventure just for you and just for you. We are in the cold but sunny town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada at KFC because as you know, KFC's had popcorn chicken on their menu uh, for a very long context, time. This is like that a was their racist Canadian chicken YouTuber nuggets. Now they've actually gone through with it and made their own really chicken likes nuggets. Nobody really likes too much. And uh, it is brand new here. I'm not sure if it was in the States first or if it's in Canada first. I have no idea. So uh, we have to wait a couple minutes because they don't open until oh, it's 10.30. I'm going to be the first one in the drive-thru. And it's Friday the 13th too. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's a, a good sign maybe. I don't know. Oh, original recipe nuggets group. You hate nuggets. him? Why? He's so cool. I, I think I'm just going to do original recipe nuggets, individual nuggets, meal, meals. I don't know if I want to do a meal. Oh, yeah. Nuggets. Give you a little background. His thing is he reads everything. He just reads. Any word in front of him, he has to read out loud. FC sauce. Hmm. Three nuggets for three <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, I definitely want to try these original recipe nuggets, please. And I'm guessing, like a ten pack would be perfect, oh I guess. Plus the KFC. For how many people you need just for yourself? Yeah, ten would be great, right? Yeah, just nuggets. Yes. Okay, yeah. Then it's gonna be like five minutes wait. The fresh ones just coming up. Okay, can here. I can wait. Okay, sure. Thank you. So, Wait, KFC uh, didn't have nuggets do, before? Um, I guess the honey mustard plus your KFC sauce, please. Seems like a misstep. Uh, let's do gravy. Uh, and no drink. I don't need a drink. Thanks for the support. Thank you. Uganda's finest sold yet. 1468. Thank you for that two months. And we have to wait a few minutes because, again, they just opened. It's like um, 1034. Four. They opened at 10.30. I checked the internet this time, people. Could you try again? Oh, now she thinks I'm talking to her. Hi. You know what? Can I add uh, poutine to that too, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. This is the nicest he's ever been to a service worker. Okay, where would you like me to park? Okay. Do you want me to just wait here until another car comes? Okay, you got it. This is a slice uh, of life content. You might say, like, why does any of this have to be in the video? Perfect. Thank you. I'm vibing with this. Yes, yeah, you dude. sit there and wait. It messes up. I'm the walking fast a, food time. a day in his shoes. So, uh, I'm, I'm here to help whenever I can. She knows the color of my car, she said. So, new seasoned fries. Are you kidding? What the hell's going on, KFC? Canada? <laughs> Jeez, so much stuff to try, so little time. You know what? I'm going to go and grab it. <laughs> Wait, isn't he supposed to stay in his car? Oh, I like the soundtrack, though. The Thanksgiving sub. Missed out on that one. Season fries. <laughs> He's so like... That's the nuggets. That's what they look like. White meat, 100%. This is and such head shredded, empty content. It's so fucking nice. Sauce. Hmm. That's what they, that's like them, man. Those are the nuggets from the video. It's a nice nice KFC, brand new, high top seating. They got that corner bench thing. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Actually, can you take out the knife and fork? I don't need it. I've got stuff in my car. I got so many of those things. Uh, I'll take napkins for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Have a good weekend, too. Woohoo! We are back in the car. Steering wheel tray. Coming out soon. The vehicle. This is going to be like a high traffic zone uh, momentarily. As soon as the high school lets out nearby, Bradford High School. Who goes there? My kids went there. Oh. <laughs> down the spot. Put the keys down, the steering wheel tray, and start eating. He knows a little too much about this Put high the school. Wheel in the correct orientation right away. So, there we go. Hey, guys, the smell in here right now is just intoxicating. I was going to tip that sideways a little bit, but that, that would have been a bad idea. 
because the poutine needs to be somewhat on the flat surface. You know it smells so crazy I, I in there. I got the poutine because one of my amazing, or two of my Super amazing uh, followers Fuck. on my Patreon, my supporters on Patreon, uh, they said, hey, Kent, love your stuff. If the next time you go out, could you please grab a poutine? Because we love it when you eat poutine. I said, sure. I'll see what I can do. And I Who feels this way? The first time. I not. fucking love it when this guy oh, eats poutine. Gravy. gravy has its own separate bag. Aw, a little bucket. Okay, I'm going to open all this stuff. Oh, my. Feeders. <laughs> that has to be it. Wonderful. It's the only explanation. Again, out of all the fast food places, uh, KFC probably has one of the best gravies for poutine. And it looks like they use real cheese curds. So, the, I guess the only the only issue is their fries. Uh, they're not your typical poutine style of fries. Let's open up this gravy. And I didn't forget the gravy. Don't forget the gravy, man. I like when he does a funny voice. Remember that cartoon? Anybody in the 50s, 60s? Uh, it's an old cartoon. I think it's uh, Warner Brothers, one of those little off. No, no. He is very charming. People it, like Bugs Bunny don't give him enough credit. Okay, let's check out these nuggets. See how big they are. Ooh la la. All right, there's your nuggets. <laughs> All right. I forgot. Let's go for I forgot ooh la la. All right, guys, going up to the extreme. It's all coming back. My early, very early lunch. Uh, over to our left is the main attraction. Let's zoom in. There's that looks our good. Extreme, extreme. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks great. Close up. Looks fantastic. Of the KFC nuggets, and then we have got the gravy. We went with two different sauces. The honey mustard, let us know what your favorite sauce at KFC is. And then the new KFC sauce, or PFK. That's French. All right. Pussy Over here we have the poutine. And again, this is for one of my amazing Killer. Patreon supporters. Let's eat. I guess first up, let's try the sauce. I don't think I've tried their limited time sauce. It looks like a gravy, doesn't it? It looks, it looks like a mustard. And a gravy at the now. This is time. like this is why I watch okay. Ken. These observations. These two colors the same. They look the like same. Ranch. It's got that tanginess of ranch, and then we've got our honey mustard. Poutine's oh, good, man. Up mustard, a KFC it's candy. good. If you could get on that, people. It's like an extravagant or what's it called? Indulgent. Yes. Chicken in regular, everyday liquid honey. There we go. We got our sauces. We got our fork. I'm glad I saw her put that in there because I, I've got about 30 of those packages in my car at all times. All right. Let's Sounds like a you out. problem. So it's a pretty big, it's probably one of the bigger nuggets out of all the, the fast food chains. And I'm going to eat one without any <laughs> sauce. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had KFC in so long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice and crunchy. Breading on there. Damn, he took that in. Nice and salty. Uh, lots of little spices and stuff. The chicken is still juicy inside there. KFC is bad everywhere, in my opinion. Uh, that I've tried it. I've tried it in America and, and Japan. Sauces and ba it's bad in both. It was $14 and something, she said. But then I added the poutine, and I don't know. I asked her for the receipt, but she didn't give it to me. All right. When I was a kid, funny, KFC I was fucking busted, dude. What's to put in, in a different bag? Wrong bag, dude. We used to have KFC oh, family oh, dinner. Amazing. <laughs> Shit was great. Chicken, so they're not preformed uh, pieces of chicken. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do this KFC sauce. See what it's like. See what it's all about. If a fast food restaurant has any redeemable qualities, it's good in Japan because they actually like take it seriously. You know what I mean? Ranch sauce. They'll actually optimize the food. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's better. Is it Taco Bell in Japan? Yeah, and they serve beer. It's cool. It's like somebody mix ranch and mustard together. Did I guess it? KFC. Did I guess the recipe? I had Taco Bell and Osaka. Let's compare the KFC limited time only with their honey mustard. And I bet it's going to taste very similar. Did you feel more free in Japan than you this do in the U.S.? No. I wouldn't say so. Oh, hot. Woo. Oh, shut the... F it's honey mustard. Very hot. Woo. 
Relax. Just my glasses. Ooh la la. That has definitely got the, hey, the oomph of Come mustard here. flavor, but that definitely has a mustard flavor. Hmm. Let's move into this poutine, and I'm doing this as a little yeah. bit of a bonus again for my uh, awesome Patreon supporters who wanted me to try this. I think it was Derek, right? Oh, cheese pull. Nine cheese pull. Mm. I'm so, uh, yeah, you're right, but for this might backfire. I'm Canada. <laughs> you can't find cheese full place, an oh. actual place that just does poutines oh. and stuff specializes in it. I love oh, Frankie KFC, so they, much. They oh, you hate this, but they're I love, they're love like it. Mwah, I love Look you. This clump of cheese, cheesy goodness. I'm trying to don't, don't you don't you try to escape, buddy? Don't you try to escape? Okay, I think I've. Cheese pull. I missed this too, Whoa, but I think I've had enough. Dude, look at that! Three, two, one. I think I I got my uh, my fill. Unless I look in his uh, filmography, and there's something that really intrigues me. I'm sorry. I have to see if there's oh. a lot lizard type video. There's a spicy food challenge. I don't know if that intrigues me, though. What was the racist part? No, he just had some... He had some uh, interesting points of view on the George Floyd protest. No, not even the protest. Just the incident itself. Because it's one thing to be mad about the protest, to like make light of the actual incident. Can take some racism. Can take some racism. Should we watch the Try Guys? I'm just kidding. I don't get. They really fucking flipped on that try guy for just getting a crumb of extra pussy in his life. Leave him alone. Let him indulge. <laughs> it's the worst take. <laughs> what? I don't get what's, what the big deal is about that take. My cat's going crazy. Oh my god. You know the my algorithm's fucked when I'm recommended the video Aiden Ross introduces Dylan Dennis to Andrew Tate. I'm fucked, dude. They're giving me Aiden Ross content? I'm fucked. Can you just start from scratch with the algorithm? Imagine I become all right now. That'd be funny. This late. <laughs> Wait, do people get indoctrinated this late in their 30s? Yeah, boomers, that's true. I don't think you get indoctrinated as much as the world progresses and you draw a line and you just like stop being cool. <laughs> That's my take. I'm getting recommended a Jack Septic Eye video from five years ago. I that you might be right, Poop. I might have. <sighs> I might have done it. You know what, Poop? You know what, Poop? You might be right.
Yo, I don't even know if I can do this. I'd love to watch them to catch a predator on this stream. But I don't think I can. <sighs> Why not? Because I think it's a little too... The... the uh, what is this? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. I'm on my way up... This is four years ago. This is pre Tommy Tallarico Judgment Day. It's fine. I don't think it's fine. Because then I'll get like hosted and I'll get raided by somebody. <laughs> and then they'll come into that. It's not good. Conspiracy videos, like, have been eradicated. They're not real anymore. They don't exist. I'll put a Subway Surfers clip beneath it. What's the risky world of hardcore bingo? <laughs> this is what I landed on after like 20 minutes of searching. <laughs> this is just how, I don't know. It was the only thing that caught my eye. Thank you. Bye. Damn, she's old, old. Can't sit here all day, you know. That's rude, sorry. What else am I gonna do? Can't go through life without something. I had sorry depressing the shit out of me. Here Yo, that's a bingo place? A bingo. Jackpot's up next, folks. Letter X is being played. Letter H is worth 50. Full card, $1,000. Constellation of $50. First number, N44. N21. Not only will we all be that old, we're all going to end up in this bingo hall at some point. G47. This truly is hardcore, though. It's sad? Fuck, I don't want to watch something that's sad. I've been playing bingo all my life. G52. You should see the stuff I used to win. Tricycles and dolls, all kinds of stuff. We went down with the car one day and filled the trunk full of all kinds of stuff that I had won. For Christmas, you know? Well, 66. Is this scale base? Big bad Ricky Benz. I was mellowing out. That was Nance. Oh my god, look how many cards he's playing. Holy I shit. Bingo. I love the game. It's exciting, it's fun. And winning's a lot of fun. I'll go days without or weeks, maybe, without winning, but not too often. I'm really lucky at it. Ah. I go to church, go to mass every Sunday. <laughs> And, uh, All right, this is not good content. It's depressing the shit out of me already. Hey, do you guys mind if I watch two minutes of each video and then decide I don't want to watch it? Is that allowed? Look up recently uploaded videos. Can you even do that anymore? I feel like they got rid of that. My cats are sprinting. They're fucking sprinting around. Ooh. Hold on, I want to watch that video I saw earlier about the guy who paid people on Fiverr to make a game. 
Yeah, this is what I want to In this watch, video, dude. I'm going to be paying four different game developers in this video. on Fiverr <laughs> to make the same game. I've Let's created a shit. simple brief for a game I want made and sent it to four different game developers. Here's how the game's turned out. So, I've made a few Fiverr videos before. I've paid game developers on Fiverr. I actually really like this game, premise, the Fiverr videos. And even finish my game. But They're in one of the Fiverr videos I've made, I paid three different game developers to make the same game. I asked three different game developers to make an endless runner game with shooting mechanics, and I got three completely different games. Since that video was a lot of fun to make, I decided I, I watched to one. Do it again. To start, it was like a bass player who hired people to play like a riff. But with it was guns. really interesting. My brief for the game it was, was really fun. Watch a platform shooter. I then messaged a bunch of different game developers on Fiverr and eventually found four different people to make my game. After a few weeks, I had all four games. Before we check out the games, I'd like to thank Fiverr for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Fiverr, Fiverr is a website where you can order different freelance services. Fiverr is great for game developers as there are many different freelance services to help you with making your game. Or, similar to this video, you can even get people to make games completely for you. If you would like to check out Fiverr or any of the sellers, I bet in you this get video, some real I've left trash. Links in the description. Also, if you'd like to play any of the games in this video, they're all available on my Patreon over at patreon.com/badgamedev. Link in the description. Now, let's check out the okay. games. Okay, here we go, guys. We're all going to subscribe to his Patreon. We're going to make him rich. By a Fiverr seller named Lee Minaldo. Now, interestingly enough, in my original Fiverr video, where I paid game developers to make the Look same game, Lee Minaldo was a developer in that video, and they created the game Gunner Runner. So I was interested to see what they would create. And here we go with the first game. So I've spawned in. I've got my character here. I can move around, jump, do typical platform Oi. stuff. I've also got Ross. a gun, which I can aim. Thank you and for that shoot. raid. This already feels pretty fun to play. You see? So it looks like I have to... If I had turned on to catch a predator and then Russ raided me, <laughs> this would have been a very awkward moment. I called it. Russ, I was going to watch to catch a predator on stream. Okay, but I was afraid sick. that someone <laughs> would raid me. Right, so let's, uh, and your viewers would come into that. <laughs> defeat the waves of enemies and rescue your friends. Okay. I hey, really they like deserve it. This game is going. So let's uh, check it out. Wave one. Okay. And we're trapped in this little area. They deserve area, it. And I assume we have to take out our enemies. All right. Let's go for it. Boom. All right. So I got to take out all these enemies to uh, pass the wave. Wait. How much so did he pay for this? Stand above them here. And, um, I'm curious. Oh, game is. Uh, what? Jump. Do interest what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, interest Does anyone know? Ground jump. I've also got a gun which I can aim and uh, he didn't shoot. Say. This already feels pretty fun to play. So it looks like I have to capture my friends. I've got uh, four hearts there, score of zero. So uh, let's read this. So just some instructions on how to play so I can collect coins and uh, work my way through. It actually might be a good racket to, of your gun to, to um, yourself and reach new heights. Can I really? Okay, that's sick. It might be a good racket to be a game dev on Fiverr. Especially if you're developing in Unity where there's so many frameworks for every genre. Like, you could use Corgi Engine, which is a platforming engine, and make this in, like, 15 minutes. So I've got to take out all these enemies to pass the wave. So let's just stand above them here and... Bomb, easy. Even the enemies are like pretty well um, programmed. It looks like they'll randomly walk around and, and jump. And then obviously when I'm in range, they'll notice me and shoot. That is really well made. All right, let's take out this guy over here. Nice. And take out these guys over here. Nice. Okay. Like the, the game I'm two. making right now. Wave. Continue to take out these. I enemies. have Slow used cleared. perfect. And it looks like an asset store framework. Friends, so I can choose. I can choose. And it's like saved me so much fucking myself. time. Okay, that's pretty cool. You know what? I'm gonna try the shotgun. Let's uh, unlock that. Okay. Nice. All right. This is cool. We can obviously still propel ourselves. It's more so like a jump now. That is awesome. Yeah. This game is really fun. I, I really like this. They've taken the uh, concept of a of a platform shooter and uh, just added such. I had to edit it pretty heavily, the move yourself with the gun. TBH. Awesome. Nice little traps as well. Everything just feels really polished. It feels like a complete game, and I've just... Game over. Okay. Nice. All right, it looks like we've got our final score and our final time, so it's almost like a bit of a speedrunning game. Okay, I don't we're think that'd be very hard to make, As though. fast as possible. Let's do it. All right, start off. Get our um, coins, of course, because we also want to get a high score. Propel ourselves upwards. All right, we've cleared the first room, and uh, I can now choose a machine gun. Okay. All right, let's try this. 
Okay, awesome. All right, now last time we got up to here, so let's. Did he say the time frame Plus in which this was awesome being made? We can. I'm sure he did. Oh, I just wasn't oh, no, paying attention. Oh no, no, no! I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know those blocks uh, break when you shoot them. Not. Couple the first of weeks. game was an extremely polished, fun-to-play short platform shooter game. In this game, you would work your way through a platform game environment, using your gun to launch you through the stage, while avoiding traps, taking out waves of enemies, and rescuing your friends. The game had different guns you could use, and had a fun objective, with needing to complete the game as fast as possible, while also trying to get as high a score as possible. The platformer mechanics were very polished, hey, no shitting on my friend, the guy who the made this video. Mechanics were also so great. Overall, this game was incredible. Awesome job. The second game was created <laughs> Sorry. by a Fiverr seller named Burak78. Right, I shouldn't be so. The second game, so let's click play and uh, all right. So I guess we can choose a level here. So let's start with level so one. So picky and, about uh, these games. Shot. All right. So we've got our guy here. We can uh, walk around. We can jump and uh, we can also shoot. Pretty simple platform. Okay, this is trash. I, like the so far. Uh, I assume we just walk out, work our way through the level. I'm not sure if there's a way to interact with these signs. Can we click on them? I don't know. But that's all right. Why is this so sign? Play. We just need to uh, take out some enemies like. So, and uh, yo, I think he just the turns the collider off. Jump on top of enemies at well, I, I thought we could as well. I mean, we kind of can, yeah. There we go. Yeah, wait, <laughs> it just seems like a pretty simple platform shooter game. You work your way through the level and uh, shoot your enemies with your gun, and we finished the level. Yes, that's nice. Hey, that was a pretty cool transition too, so effect, uh, though. Work our way through the level. I, you know, it'd be cool if there was a little bit more variety in this game. It just seems like you sort of work through the level and uh, take out enemies. I mean, it is a platform shooter, and uh, it, it's like the perfect starting point of a, you know, complete platform shooter. It's project. perfect. But yeah, a little bit more variety. I love how it but, damages you know, them when you don't. It's still pretty good. It's, it's pretty fun. directly it works. in the middle. Uh, of exactly time. what I asked for. The second game had really nice graphics and was pretty well made. You could work. Work your way through four different platform levels using your gun to take out enemies. The game itself didn't have much variety, but at its core, it does core, have really nice graphics. Exactly Look at I that guy. In the brief, a platform shooter. I actually, kind of like job. the running animation. The third game was created by this Fiverr seller. All right, I will here develop we go. Game three. So we spawned in. in. We've got our mobile. player here. We can walk around. We can uh, jump, and of course, we can shoot. And I've just uh, wasted all my ammo. <laughs> so I need to collect uh, forty-two gems by the looks of things, and uh, Wait, take out different enemies. Now the <laughs> issue like is, three bullets. I can't take out this enemy because I've used all my ammo. All right, so let's try that again. Let's collect these coins here, and uh, let's yeah, this, this is enemy. trash. Nice. Looks like we've gained an extra ammo for taking oh, no. out the enemy, which is good. So I assume we just take out as many enemies as possible. Here's one up here. Uh, okay, perfect. All right, we got 42 gems and we're in the next level. Nice. Yeah, what is the I video? Admit, what is, is the effect? This is pretty fun. Having to collect all the gems before um, passing the level. And uh, obviously you can't collide with any enemy. Otherwise the level resets. Uh, yeah, it makes for a challenge. The third game looked really cool and worked well. You could walk. <laughs> yeah, this YouTuber's and shoot. so nice. The game was actually pretty fun. Collecting gems, taking out enemies, and working your way through. He's being way too nice. Levels. Overall, it was a pretty fun platform shooter. Nice work. Nice work. The fourth game was created by a Fiverr seller named Leo Evans 812. All right, and here we are with the fourth and oh, game. Oh, no. So spawned in and uh, we can shoot. No, this the particle pretty, effects. Uh, pretty interesting. So we can walk around, we can jump. Pretty much similar to every game we've played, of course. Platform. He shoot. farts um, every time he lands, though. Enemies, so let's <laughs> he do farts let's forward. Shoot. Boom. Everything works pretty well. Uh, I really like the shooting mechanics in this game. That's uh, th Those are pretty cool. Can we jump on top of the enemies, or does that not work? Let's try. Nice, we can. All right, what about this nice. one? Can we? Awesome. All right, we're in the second level here, awesome. so let's uh, carry on through the game. Yeah, once again, it's exactly what I asked for, a platform shooter. The there are, like, was a elaborate particle levels. effects, cool, but everything looks like well. a fart. There were plenty of different platform obstacles, everything. enemies, and I really like the shooting effects. Great work. And there we go. Four different games that were... Ah, uh, that was a little disappointing. That was Once it. Once again, thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check Wait, out... Wait, Fiverr is sponsoring this? the sellers from this video, <laughs> links are in the description. Also, if you'd like to play any of the games in this it, video... It was not a good advertisement my Patreon, at all. ...over at patreon.com slash badgamedev, link in the description. That's, yeah, that's definitely why he's video, being nice. Please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and you can also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Peace.
Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome Those back to Let's Game It Out. Okay. I wonder if there's anything else like that, though. This is a good YouTube channel, by the way. I like this channel. It's good. It's very popular, though, so I'm sure you guys know. Let's see. Um... Wait, this guy has a bunch of Fiverr videos. Let's watch another one. In this video, I'm going so to be playing anxious? different game Now I am. Now you reminded me. Grand Theft Auto 6. GTA 6 has been in the works for a while now, and as fans anticipate the release of this game, I was game, feeling fine, but now I'm fucked. I didn't want to wait for it. Instead, I'm going to be paying game developers to make it for me. Let's see how we go. Fiverr is a website GTA where 6. you can hire people for different freelance services. With one of my favorites being game development, you can literally two pay songs people right now? to make you games. So I thought it would be really interesting to reach out to some game developers on Fiverr and ask. For Wait, G are you guys hearing this music? GTA Six. That's it. When they asked me what game I wanted, all I said was. It sounds GTA like there's 6. like two songs so playing. So the developers in this video had no other instructions, and it was completely up to them to interpret what GTA Six should look like. If you'd like to try Fiverr for yourself or check out any of the services from this video, I've left links in the description to Fiverr and the services. Since Fiverr have sponsored this video, they've also got a discount code for you guys. You can get 10% off with the code BADGAME10. Anyway, let's see what we received from Fiverr. So I think I was losing my shit. A lot of you know about this. Um, but at one point, I paid a bunch of people on Fiverr to write rap lyrics from the perspective of different animals. And then I was going to record the songs. But then I kind of lost interest in that project. <laughs> it was a weird idea. For the first game, we went through a gig by Fake Stan the Man, who would make a pixel art game using I spent like $120 on that. $75 for the game, and here's what I received. All right, so here we are in the first game, and we've, uh, oh, just just had a knife thrown at us nice so it looks like we've spawned in here in a 2d Do I have the results? world and no uh, i asked like for it and house. paid for it and i never uh, looked at yeah, it it was uh i was like that's here. dumb we've idea got a gun so let's uh i guess let's just take him out because he threw a knife at me all right so uh yeah I'm, I'm getting gta vibes for sure as you can see i can i can aim my gun walk around uh and it looks like i, I can i can leave the house and there we go we're into the city all right nice so i saw a nice. car driving around here before so uh let's see if we can f whoa whoa this is kind of sick actually all right i don't know well there's another one all right uh, i see i see so the cars have health and it looks like they're losing health by by turning corners all right all right so let's just travel around the city i like the animation even when it's standing it's still it's the big, nope i've just had it's just been thrown at me all right all good so i can't be attacked by another um knife because i've only got one life left i also need to get my score up i assume i do that by taking out enemies so let's try yeah, that car is going okay, so crazy we dude. that's cool so we've got an enemy there let's uh let's take him out if, if we can uh all right he's throwing the knife i've dodged it nice nope all right, so first attempt, I got I got a score of three. Let's press R to restart and let's try again. So now that we know, I don't think you can legally talk shit knives. about these games. Uh, let, oh, not like that. Let's try to take out as many enemies as possible. I think he's contractually to obligated to uh, not shit on them. I really want to see if I can drive them. Um, I hope I can. Let's see what happens if I. Oh, I can. Okay, okay. Yo, all right, all right. <laughs> What's happening? So, so I'm in the car. I <laughs> What's the happening? It's gone now. Okay. Let's uh, try to get into another one. The cars uh, are breathing, dude. Because I really want to be able to drive a car and take out some enemies. I feel like that's going to be very effective. Jump in, press F to enter. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's drive around. I really like that. I like that you can get in cars. So um, it's definitely given me a old school GTA feel. I wouldn't say GTA 6. This is more like a GTA 1, you know, the top down style. But that's cool. That's cool. It's, I guess. It's interesting to see different interpretations of the game. Could you imagine if GTA 6 was actually top down and they went back to that style? All right, let's go around, take out some enemies. Um, can they throw an and it hit my car. Did you guys ever no, play GTA me, so Chinatown uh, Wars on the DS? That. that game was so, yeah, sick. GTA mechanics, it seems like uh, a little bit of an open world, which is cool. I can get in cars, I can... I can take that was a enemies, great I game. Into building. So overall, it's uh, it's sort of got the GTA mechanics. You down. didn't just like it? it in a different way. I like that the cars what? Just drive randomly. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go in this building. Man, Any enemies the in 93 here? months. Um, no, the, I love a breedable a car. Two, so we need to a try breedable vehicle. Get at least more than three, so we can beat our high score. All right, we see an enemy here, so we need them to. All right. Find
I'm over this game. For the second game, we went through a gig by Mr. Rider 19, where they would make a game with Unreal Engine 4. I paid $100 for the game, and here's what I received. All right, so here we are in the next game, oh. a GTA prototype. So we've Wait, was there really a DS Guitar level, Hero? We've got credits. So I think I'm going to start with the gameplay level and uh, see what see what this is all about. Whoa, all right. Okay. Um, what? 3D game. Impressive. So as you can see, we've got our character That's here. my body nice. type the right there. The graphics look really cool. So I guess we're going to walk around here. Uh, pretty nice. It, it, it feels Unreal really Engine nice to play, template. To can we jump with space? Yes, we can. Oh, man, that's, that's a... That's a pretty big jump. This is just like just run one Unreal and, uh, Engine asset. Oh, is that a, is that an NPC? Uh, can we can we attack him? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's see what else there is. But yeah, I'm, I I really like the graphics. I'm really impressed by the graphics. Yo, I might get on Fiverr, dude, GTA and just flip like assets. Um, like like it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's see what else we got here. Is that? Oh wow. All right. So we've got all of them NPCs standing still over there, but this one seems to be walking around all right surely we can we can punch him no we can't we, i'm trying uh what's it gonna do though let's let's watch it see like it you does. literally uh, can't just, do anything in this um okay so it, it looks like it's just following a simple path so that real yeah. oh wow that's fine turn it around Could and this be. guy's just a fiverr shill the so game, he can't say anything is bad the developer is no longer on fiverr but their gig said they would create a 3d game in unity i paid 200 dollars for the game and here's what i received all right, and for the third and final game, two hundred dollars. It's interesting that for GTA Six, they decided to remake Vice City, but it, 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 we've already got some money, and uh, we have no gems. That's so that sick. Play. So let's jump into it and see what it's all about. All right, we've got one mode to choose from. It's nice. Mode, so let's jump in, and um, yeah. Oh, wow. oh right. my so god. Here and, uh, let's we go. Neat. We can jump with space, and uh, it also looks like we can. Throw some punches. We've got a mini map up the top there. We've got experience, health, stamina. On screen, we've got some mobile controls. Originally, the Fiverr seller sent this game. Yeah, this is grab that game. auto file. I asked them to add some PC controls so I could play it on PC. So that's why they're on screen. So yeah, this is supposed to be a mobile game. Just keep that in mind. But uh, either way, let's uh, let's go see what we can do. It looks like uh, on the mini map there, there's some people we can talk to. So I guess we'll just walk up to this guy and. Uh, so we have to do. All right. Oh, it looks like we're getting a mission. All right, let's continue and um, go to the point. Find the employer. All right, let's go. Find the I employer. Do I want to get in this car and uh, and see how the driving mechanics are? All right. Um, let's get out of the car. Let's go talk to him. But before I do that, I'd like to say looks uh, rough. The gameplay. It actually feels not too bad. It does feel like an older GTA game, I guess. I mean, it, it is a Vice City remake, so I guess that's what they were going for. But uh, as for GTA 6, I mean, I don't know if it's GTA 6, <laughs> but it's definitely a GTA game, which is which is pretty good. It's what we want. All right, so we've got a quest. We have to get to uh, to our enemy. All right, he's he's up there, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drive straight to him. Oh, 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 all right. I don't yeah. think I was supposed to do that, but... Hey, this Fiverr guy definitely game, flipped this. Like, game. this existed now, before. this game was pretty much a GTA remake. Honestly, this game speaks for itself. Good job. So, yeah, Good job. You pay different <laughs> game developers on Fiverr to make GTA 6. Once again, if you would like to check out Fiverr or any of the services in this video, Thanks, I've Fiverr. left links to Fiverr and the services in the description below. You can also use the code all right. bad yeah i don't i don't believe this guy's credibility I, I i have no faith in his credibility anymore all right here we go here's a different guy this i paid okay i don't trust this guy either let's try it man in every fiber video there's always a guy who charges low and gives one of the best results is this sponsored by fiverr i'm gonna quit fiverr to make the same game the game will be used as part of an app I'm building and I have a wait list of 1300 people waiting for it, so it has to be good. I provided our three developers with the same brief. I built a learning platform called The Last Code Bender that teaches people how to code by solving challenges in a game. I need what? a simple game to illustrate the course. The team will be technology. The player has to <laughs> defeat the virus to save their country. <laughs> if somebody... Wait, if somebody sent me this description, I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Hey, the theme will be technology? <laughs> What? They can use uh, gadgets and equipment to do some action on the virus. What? I don't fucking... That's a... Or equipment to do some but then again, it's very abstract. You can make anything with that. 
action like shooting on a virus. I also provided them with a website we had made for this project and I told them that we'll be using screenshots and recordings of the game in the app. Now meet our three contestants. First developer is from Saudi Arabia. He's a new seller on Fiverr. We've that is no, 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 no. I'm not sure what to... That's literally, I just mentioned the Corgi engine as like a Unity framework. This is the demo scene from the Corgi engine. I've used it before. What the fuck? Expect. I don't know if we'll get something similar to the quality of the screenshot, but he looks decent and he asked for $30. The second one is actually a game designer and not a developer, but I think it still works. I paid her $35. If she creates a couple of decent screens, we can reuse that in the app. Final one is a 3D game developer. Wait, is it the Unity 2D tutorial? So I think it it looks familiar, whatever it is. Three very different styles of the same game. Within a week, I got the three games. Now let's try them out. First game is from our developer from Saudi. It makes sense. Let's see how it, it works. Is. Okay. Either way, I've seen Basic it. Basic commands, A to go left, D to go right, left mouse to shoot. Got it. Play. Technology oh. type game. Okay, I didn't expect it to be that good. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Look at that gameplay. Those animations, the gun, the virus. My god. The sound effects. <laughs> wow, the jumps. He did use free assets for everything. I provided him with a link for that environment, but still My god. all the blocks together. It's to amazing. Create. So the game is pretty easy. It seems that the virus never attacks you. So if you don't touch it, you can't lose. Oh, nice. So that's what's the fucking you get hurt. point? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm dead. Dang, that's cool animation. Okay, so you have three lives. I mean, only two left for me now. I'll speed run this. Let's see what happens if we kill all the viruses. I mean, that's absolutely insane. It looks like a professional game. First game met my expectations and over delivered. We're starting strong for thirty dollars. That's not bad. What particular? That's not bad for thirty dollars. Even though all the assets were reused, I imagine it takes an insane amount of time to animate everything. There's a lot of potential to cut some scenes and use them as part of visuals for the coding course. But I wouldn't be like, this That's is great. fucking incredible. Obviously, there are improvements that can be done, like a better design for the hero. I liked our initial one better. The virus is missing some personality. It's too generic and the map could be made bigger but for 30 dollars you can't him complain bucks. about any of that stuff actually it's the opposite i gave him a good tip for that order because honestly he deserves much more he truly delivered second game is not really a game i ordered three static screens to essentially replace what we have in the app right now here we had a big language barrier and many misunderstandings there was oh. a lot of back and forth that i couldn't really understand but she was so kind and so willing to do the work. She sent me this first, which looks nice, but I don't really understand what is happening. <laughs> and it doesn't really look like a game. I sent her some feedback, then she made this, she which is what? an improvement in some ways. She tried to recreate that screen essentially, which was not required. It was like a placeholder I had in the app. She's not a game dev, she's a UI designer. Everything and provide right? her with a website where she can find them. I also told her to pick a technology type pack for the graphics and lay out the assets in a nice manner to get a game where the player has Damn, to Damn, you could totally just enough. like she did this use mid journey or something. Strong improvement already. This now looks like a real game. What? Still some weird things though, like In uh, what world is this a real picked, game? Mm. Is this Viking supposed to represent the virus? The map is a little unusual too, not what I had hoped for. I'm starting to have doubts about the seller. I wanted yeah, to pay her for all the screens she had done and stop it here, but she was so kind and so willing to figure it out that I couldn't stop there. I also realized that it was my fault. I kept the brief vague to leave her more room for creativity, but I should have made it much more clear from the start. So ultimately, I sent her all the assets to use, which are very similar to what the first game had, and I told her exactly what she needed to do. This He's is in the love. update. He's a now man in love. Talking. This is very cool. She nailed it. You have the hero, the virus, the setup, and a bunch of gadgets. The first screen will be used to illustrate the beginning of the programming course in our app. The user will be learning about variables and will have to define each of the main elements of the game using the appropriate variable types. In the second screen is just a slight variation, she added the hearts. The goal here is to teach the concept of if-else statements in programming. So, if hero is stronger than virus, then hero will win, else player needs to do something. And that's what the hero does in the third screen, Shadow Clone Jutsu. You use four loops to duplicate yourself four times and get four new hearts added. Which is now more than what the virus has. Oh my and that's God. it. So it's, it's not amazing. a functional game where we could have taken How much did a he lot pay of screenshots and recordings to be used throughout the it's course. It's too much. 
to create a complete narrative. But that could be used as the beginning three screens that we had in our app. If you compare her to the first game, obviously it's not at the same level. But thirty-five dollars the first game was actually much. way undervalued. A game like that should be much more expensive. This leads us to our third and final contestant, Foreshad, the 3D game developer. This is a fun one. The guy sent me a file named virus.zip. I was a little dubious. <laughs> Wait, what? First, but I thought, it's alright. What could go wrong? Okay, that was very loud. Sorry, we just experienced some technical difficulties, but we're back. Look at this game, wow. A 3D version of our virus game. Try to read the even added instructions. Months. You have to destroy the virus to nine save the country. Months. Nice touch. So this is the virus. It's getting closer. Oh, look at this. I love that animation. Dang. Yo, Unity, I mean, Unreal I Engine asset flips virus is are like so much together. more egregious Actually, than Unity you know Engine asset Let flips. Let me try something. I want to change the camera like, so you can when you see, see an Unreal Engine asset was flip, to show me how to do it's it. like immediately apparent okay, so that it's from a bit, Unreal. Like this. In my experience, Compile and save. viewing Perfect. these things. Alright, let's see now what else we have. Lava! Man, this guy is creative, I love it. Wow. I love the animations on the boxes too. This is the oh, worst ad for Fiverr. A little girl in danger? I don't know if it is. Take this, you nasty viruses. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now stay Thank with me, I'll get you out of here. Wait, where are you going? No, not this way. And she's gone. Okay, let's continue. This is a good Oh wait, is uh, that the same girl? Project. She got caught again? Well, you guys know the drill. I'll go Rambo style on them. I'll dismantle them in a second. Watch this. <laughs> Wait, this looks can't aim infuriating. Alright. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Nice. This was our third game. I love the different take on it. The $45. gameplay was awesome. The sound effects, the explosions of the virus, the map, the lava, saving the characters in danger. The way the virus was attacking you, really, everything was awesome. For $45? I'm just impressed. We'll have to choose a winner for the game. Really? <laughs> I have a feeling our Saudi developer will get it. But I also want to know your thoughts. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I still have a lot of work to do on the app. But don't worry, I'll keep documenting my process step by step as part of our video series from zero to one. It's our journey together to figure out... Yeah, the second one was the best. It had find images. Ideas, build Three them, images. And get them out in the world. This was Orbeck and I'll see you guys next time. God bless. That was sick. That was really good. I paid three Fiverr devs to make a game in Godot 4. What? Alright. I'm out of here. I'm going to go uh, eat food. I know it was a short stream, but I also have a foreboding feeling. Stevarius! Thanks for the support. Thank you for that two months. Sorry I'm leaving right as you sub. Love you. I'll be back, though.